Hi, this is Miss Torres, and I'm going to read you a fictional story called The Boy Who Cried Wolf. This is based on a fable by Aesop. Long ago, in a village on the grassy plains, a boy named Gabriel reached his 15th birthday. Gabriel was bursting with excitement. He had waited for this day for many months. His uncle, Theo Pablo, was going to show him how to guard the village sheep. At noon, when the sun was high in the sky, Tio Pablo finally arrived. Feliz cumpleaños, Gabriel, said Tio Pablo. Happy birthday! I've come to give you a special gift. You are now old enough to be one of our village shepherds. Come with me, and I will show you what to do. Gabriel and Tio Pablo walked out into the fields. The village sheep grazed peacefully on the long, wavy grass. Tio Pablo explained to Gabriel, Your job is to stand on this hill and guard the sheep. Shepherds have two important rules to follow. Rule number one, if you see a wolf, cry out for help right away. Rule number two, never cry wolf unless you actually see one. Of course, Tio Pablo, Gabriel said eagerly. That's easy. I can follow those rules. Tio Pablo went back to the village. Gabriel stood in the sun and watched the sheep. He looked way, way out across the plain, but there were no wolves. After a little while, Gabriel thought to himself, This is boring. It's too quiet out here. It's time for some action. Just once, I want to see what happens if I cry, Wolf! So Gabriel cupped his hands around his mouth and cried, Wolf! 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 Men and women came running from the village. They rushed up the hill, still carrying the tools from their morning chores. But there was no wolf. The sheep were safely grazing, as usual. Gabriel laughed and laughed. <laughs> the villagers did not laugh. Theo Pablo frowned. Remember rule number two? He reminded Gabriel. The villagers walked away. Gabriel went back to guarding the sheep. He looked way, way out across the plain, but there were no wolves to be seen. Gabriel sighed. <sighs> this is getting boring again, he thought. It was fun to see how fast Tio Pablo and the others ran when I called them. I think I'll play my prank just one more time. So he did. Wolf! Wolf! Gabriel cried. It's coming towards the sheep! All the villagers rushed back out to the field. But once again, there was no wolf. There was no danger at all. Gabriel giggled. <laughs> but no one else seemed to enjoy his prank. Theo Pablo shook his head. Oh, you must learn to cooperate, Gabriel, he said. And I don't think you understand the importance of rule number two. Gabriel felt bad. Lo siento, Theo Pablo. I'm sorry, I will follow the rules now, he promised. Gabriel was all alone with the sheep again. He looked way, way out across the plain. But, wait, what was that? Gabriel saw a dark speck coming towards the sheep. It crept closer, closer, and closer still. <gasps> it was a wolf, a real wolf with pointed ears and a pointed black nose. Wolf! Wolf! Gabriel cried. The sheep scattered. But nobody came to help. Nobody even looked in Gabriel's direction. Wolf! Wolf! There's really a wolf this time! Gabriel called desperately. At last, one of the farmers working nearby turned to look. Wolf! He cried to the others. Once again, the villagers rushed to help Gabriel. They chased the wolf away, just in time. The sheep were safe. As the villagers walked away, Theo Pablo came up to Gabriel. I hope you have learned to follow the rules of a responsible shepherd, he said. Yes, Theo, Gabriel exclaimed. If I want people to trust what I say, I must tell the truth. From now on, I will only cry wolf when I mean it. 
Now you are going to practice your reading comprehension skills by retelling the story using the pictures. Feel free to pause the video to answer the questions and then press play when you are ready to move on to the next one. Card 1. Where are Gabriel and Theo Pablo? What is special about today? Card 2. What does Theo Pablo tell Gabriel? What does Gabriel do when Theo Pablo leaves? Card 3. What has Gabriel done? How does he feel? How do the villagers feel? Card 4. Why don't the villagers listen to Gabriel? What lesson does he learn? Thanks for watching The Boy Who Cried Wolf.